All right, let's talk a little bit about workflow, right? And you'll see as I go whipping around the Illustrator page, you really want to think about, you know, how you keep track of where you were. So if you're making that logo and you start over here and you make a little version and you try something and you want to make a change, don't change it over that piece. Command, Option, drag it, dupe it, tinker on that one. Do it again, tinker on that one. And as you pull back after the course of, you know, working for a half a day or whatever that's going to be, you'll see all the lineage of where you were. And that's cool because you can go back and say something was good there. You can see the transformation. And you can go back and say something was good and then go off of that. And another little branch comes out of that. And before you know it, you've got a ton of versions to work with. And you sort of tricked yourself into, you know, um, keeping track of everything you made and then, you know, trying out some new stuff, you know. So just sort of think of that as you're going. Vectors are free, right? Vectors are free. So don't be afraid to just fill up that big old artboard with them, right? Some of these look very complex, but when you step back, like what's the like what's the scariest one here? Maybe it's like this one right here with all this extra lines and stuff. But no, it's about one, two, it's about five pieces. So if you understand that, understand how to tackle that and sketch that and go build it, you can go build your own damn laurel. You don't have to go buy one, you know? All right, so you can see here I come to my laurel page now, and I don't have a laurel. So what we're going to do is we're going to go grab... You know, a piece of our Kmart color. We got it specked over here. And we're just going to lay something over it. And we're just looking now, we're just looking at that shape. You can't quite see it there, so go multiply them, right, over here in your transparency. And there's your shape, right? There's your little shape. So we're looking at that thing and we're saying, two circles, we want that. Keep it live, keep it live. And then take that little guy. Now use your little intersect. There's your little shape you just made, okay? We'll turn that thing off now. And we're going to say, there's your little shape. So we, get, we kept this thing live. We're going to bring this over here. We're going to sort of just sort of using your constraints, your shift tools. We're going to go make our own little laurel, like fast, right? Okay, so here's a cool little piece right here. And we're going to say, all right, some nice math, some nice geometry. Keep that thing live. Bring this thing down here. We're going to scale it down, right? We're going to scale it down. And then we're going to kind of say, all right, I want the, you know, let's just try. Let's make some laurels. So real quick, right? Now how you're doing it is you're using your little command D. I'm going fast, I know. But in my brain, I knew what I needed to make, right? You know, and you're using all your little align tools to keep those things nice and tight. Now you take that little thing and you pull off to the side and say, man, we got a laurel right there. There's number one. We just built that thing. And what, how many steps? Well, how you do that, you know, you saw me isolate that piece. We mirrored it over here. We bring it down smaller right here. And then just simply go Option, Shift, Command Drag up above, and then Command D, Command D, Command D, Command D, which is just what, duplicate or something? I don't even know. And then we want to go put one little guy at the top. So we use your little Shift key and bring that thing just so it's centered in between those two little guys. Now see, it's a little off. So now you go use your little Align tool to get that thing lined up, OK? So we just built our own little laurel. Like, no one can mess with that. These are our pieces, our stuff. And we say to ourselves, you know, like, man, that we just made our own little, our own little, like, library, we'll say. Like, no one, we're not rebuilding it from someone else's source. We're just going to kind of, like, you know, use our own. So we take that little guy over here, and we say, all right, here we do this. We take this guy, and we do this. You know, now there's something happening there. There's already something happening, man. It's like, wow, how many steps is that? That's just kind of stupid, right? Well, that's what design should be. It shouldn't be this damn thing where you're spending eight hours fucking around on Laurel. You should be able to, like, blast through this stuff. Get a sketch going, right? So as I start to look here, and I don't know if you guys can, we'll, we'll go back to this, but you know, I'm just thinking of, like, in terms of form, you know, what this thing's going to kind of feel like. And that little sketch, that little sketch, that what? What was that? Five seconds? You know, that just kind of gave me an idea of what it could be. Now, we could go through and we could say, all right, we could do some different stuff. We got some things. We got some stuff. We know we need some little laurel and some little pieces. Well, maybe I want to make a, a, you know, a round laurel, you know? Like, I want that thing to kind of curve. Or there's a million ways to do it. You know, you can take your little guy you already built here, group it, put it on its side, go up here into your little, little warp, put it on the old arc, bam, instant kick-ass arc and laurel, right? Look at that. Shift-Command-E, learn your key commands. I'm going quick. 
But look at that. We just got some laurel, right? And you take that little guy, you mirror it, you know, whatever you want to call it, you flip it. You know, and now, you know, we're cooking with gas, you know, and it's just cool because it's like right there, we've got our own little guy. We didn't have to go buy that. We didn't have to go, you know, use someone else's that's been done 44 times. We're, we're learning to think in really simple, rudimentary shapes, and, you know, you've got your little pieces. You know, now, now listen, that also is a sort of like, you know, I like the cleanliness of those leaves. Like, I just like how clean and sort of yes or no they are. Because what happens, what happens now if we take this little guy up here and we say, well, you know what, I want it to be outlined. Let's give it some outline. And let's just give it a little bit of shape in the inside, right? Okay, so we take that little guy, and now once again, you know, you build this little thing, you keep it live, go through here, make sure that guy is colored white, right? Okay, we got it colored white. Now we're going to take this little guy, we're going to make it small. I want them just to overlap just a little bit, right? Because then you're starting to see, you know, how you can make it feel like any one of those other guys, right? You know, and, you know, here's this little guy. Now, with those couple quick steps... You know, that thing can feel as complex as some of this going on in here, right? We were just talking about that. Like, wow, you know, look at that. There it is. There it is right there, you know? I mean, that's basically it. Looking at that last one and saying, well, you know, there is a sort of randomness. Okay, let's just go make it a little bit random. We're just using math. And say, let's go like 20, right, degrees. Right, there's a cool, there's a little logo right there, but if you go back now, you just command Z in, and we're just trying to find the math of where that thing's going to kind of lay over each other. So there's a 15, okay, we'll go try 10. All right, check it out. Now, okay, we're good. Keep this live. Vectors are free, you guys. Vectors are free. And then you go back in there now and, you know, clean out some of this stuff and say... All right, you know, I mean, it's a little dense, but the idea is you just made your own. No one's ever made that one like we just made in, in a minute. You know, that's cool. That's a good thing. That's a good way to think about it, but it's like that's how to tackle making your own little sort of like laurel, right?